Hello everybody. We are back. And yes, we got the Bruno man. <laughs> I'm back here on the rock. I know I have a lot of new subscribers. So this is a, a rock that I like to shoot on when, uh, when the weather's nice. And so you'll be seeing a lot of videos with this setting right here. Uh, thank you, by the way, all of you new subscribers. My channel is blowing up and it's because of you. Um, that I make this content and you and I are on this incredible journey together and I couldn't be happier to do it with you with my son with my wife and uh, We're all doing this together. It's gonna be a lot of fun Today's video is about something. I, I heard Brad Garlinghouse say yesterday, which really kind of hit me I was like wow Brad way to undershoot it four four or five trillion dollar market cap is uh, Wow, you are going corporate down the middle you know, I was like, that's way low, buddy. So I, I thought, ah, okay, maybe I'm just being a little bit too optimistic. No, Bruno, no. So <laughs> Bruno, he's excited about the season too out here, but we're gonna film together. Right, buddy? Yeah, he is. So I know. So those of you who are new, there's a lot of people that really, I think they only watch the videos for the dog, to be honest, but anyway, this is Bruno and uh, he's a big boy back back he is a black mouth cur so if you guys know what those are uh, we actually breed brown black mouth curs and we have a farm here and a ranch so if you hear a chicken or a rooster or something like that don't be alarmed uh, where was i brad brad and i uh, ran into each other in an elevator at the Vegas. See, that's the kind of thing, if you go to Vegas, you could run into people like that and have a conversation, which was kind of cool. Um, he undershot it. And now I'm going to go through some numbers. Now, let's look back at 2017. Uh, our market cap uh, market capped out at, two, or sorry, $800 billion. Okay? From that, it dropped down about 40-50%. I think it was like $380 billion. And then it went up to 2.8, which is essentially where we're at, at the peak of the 2021 market. That was the peak. So if you take the bottom to the peak and you look at it and it went up 3.7 times. So if you look at even where we were just six months ago, and we'll call that the beginning of the bull, you're looking at 3.7 times what? two and a half so you're you're looking at 10 trillion dollars any way you slice this thing it's 10 trillion dollars and you're like wow that's just too optimistic alan there's no way crypto is going to be 10 th trillion dollars anytime soon no i think that's where you're wrong and now this is where i'm going to explain why when we look at what happened in 2017 there was only small-time investors like you and i involved nobody involved Let's look at 2021. Well, we had, you know, like them or not, we, we had a couple of billionaires who came in to Michael Saylor and a couple of other billionaires who came in. But we also had some really bad actors and they've somewhat been weeded out, totally weeded out, we hope, going forward. Well, those people got weeded out and what did we get? I like to say we traded Sam Scam Bankman fraud, okay, for Larry Flynn. If you understand, sorry, Larry Fink, I almost said the, I almost said the other Larry guy. Anyway, let's not go there. Those of you who know what that reference is. But it's very telling to me that when now we have a market to where people all around the world, markets around the world are trying to buy crypto. Well, why are they trying to buy crypto? Well, if you listen to people like Mr. Buffett, I'm not a huge fan, but his fundamentals are sound in this sense. He says, oh, okay, well, I walk around and I see people eating McDonald's, so I invest in McDonald's. I see people drinking Coca-Cola. I see people needing railroad cars, so I buy things that make sense to me. Well, let's look at the last decade. People in Wall Street are standing around going, how do I profit from everybody and their brother with a cell phone in their hand walking around on the street? How do I profit on that? In particular, if I'm Wall Street. Well, they've done everything to possible, okay? They've ETF stocks and everything else to try and make as convenient as possible, but they never had anything as convenient as crypto, 
open a wallet, buy it. Click, click, click. Send it to a friend, just like sending a text. This is simple and everybody's getting it. And Wall Street's standing back watching this whole thing evolve and they're like, okay, it's big enough now for the billionaires. The billionaires are moving in. And I wanna talk about billionaires for a second. As you know, I work with a lot of them and they are getting in. Why are those big guys getting involved? Because the pool's getting large enough. They can retain their assets. They can get out anytime they want because it's becoming liquid enough and a big enough market to where they're not the only pool jumping in the swimming, whales jumping in the swimming pool and splashing all the water out and then they can't get out of the pool, right? That's a big issue for them. Well, now the pool's getting large enough. That's why they're really attracted to Bitcoin at this point. There will be other markets, there will be other ETFs, as we know. So when the big fat cats get in, all Street starts to go, okay, I can start selling this down the line. But the hard sell is gonna be the people that you probably even know, who you think is wealthy in your neighborhoods and your communities. And those are the people that are somewhere, anywhere between, here in the US, anywhere between a million dollars net worth and probably you know $10 million. They're gonna get in last, why? Because they're the ones that said, well, I built this thing from elbow grease from the bottom up and I worked 20 years and that's how you make money and that's the way they see money being made. They don't understand what the big fat cats in the world understand is money makes money. And if you know how to manage your money and understand your money and what to do with your money, then you create more wealth. That's what the big cats, whales in this case, know. Well, when the whales come in, that means they start teaching the middle money. But what you and I know as being the entrepreneur that you are and we are is we see value in market. We see a network effect that crypto has created. And we look around and see everybody on their phone and we know that they're not going to buy bonds. Yeah, they're going to buy some gold coins, but really, you're probably not going to see too much gold coin, in my opinion. I think gold's a great investment for a security investment. I do. I really believe in that. I believe in silver more, as you guys probably already know on this channel. But if you're looking at the future of trillions of dollars going anywhere, explain how anybody can buy an AI stock or company with a click of the phone. You can't. It's more difficult. The research is more complicated. And it's, of course, it will be adopted and there will be company, crypto companies that involve themselves in those products, which there are now. And that will be a way for you to easily click with your phone. But there's nothing more simple than buying cryptocurrency on your phone. So what does that tell you? That tells you that trillions of dollars globally are coming. Well, how else do I know that trillions of dollars are coming? Because let's look at what the dollar was worth in 2017 compared to today. Let's look at just what they've done to the dollar since 2020. As I believe the number is anywhere, depending on who you listen to, the inflation rate, the true amount of digits created since 2020 is anywhere between 25 trillion and 40 trillion, sorry, percent has been added to the amount of dollars circulating the planet, US dollars. That's crazy. That means that everything had to have gone up in your lifetime in the last since 2020, 25 to 40 percent in value for you to break even. Well, everybody and their brother knows you haven't done that, have you? You haven't. So you're not keeping up with what's been inflated. So how do I know that we're not going to stop at four or five trillion? Because the inflated value of the dollar is higher than it's ever been before. And then what happens is you get the publicity of people in Wall Street or people on the TV are going to start to be told to sell this thing because look, market's going up. There's more and more trillion dollars. It's become a larger market than this market, a larger market than that market. It is a long way to catch gold, but gold's just over 10 trillion. I think it's like 12 trillion now. That, it's, that's the next target for us. And we're headed there, and I just explained all the reasons why it's gonna hit that target. It's pretty simple. So Joe Public's buying it, billionaires are buying it. The middleman is the last guy to get in because their net worth is in the old system. They don't understand how to make money with crypto. 
They don't understand what it means. They think it's a scam. They think it's not hard work. They think all those old school ways of making money are gone, guys. Those are done. They're, they're not done, they're in decline, right? You can still make money that way and I'm not trying to say you shouldn't work hard for a living. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is you make money with knowledge. You make money with understanding where the ball's going. And that's what channels like this one and others are really good at. They help us see the big picture. I've been an investor since I was 20 years old. 44 years now I've been investing in projects like crypto and some of them have panned out. Some haven't, but I heard about crazy companies called Google way back when it was nothing. And when you understand what all, he's about to knock my camera over. <laughs> back, Bruno man. When you understand where you stand in life, you've never had this opportunity before. Never. You've never been before the banking institutional and the fat cats ever before. It's usually they get in, they corrupt the system, they hang on to it, and then they sell it to you. Well, you got in before that happened because, trust me, they're corrupting it. They ha Corruption's kind of a tough word, but it's the truth. Manipulate's probably a better, more PC way to put that. But what they've done is they've looked at it with all their bean counters and all their people trying to explain to the staff this is what's coming this is how it's coming this is the network effect this is how we know these network things grow well they now know it people like blackrock know that now they know where this thing is going and it's when you have reach a network effect that crypto has had it's not going to go to four trillion and back to one it's not going to do that anymore it's going from four trillion it'll level off I want to talk about leveling off. Now I'm kind of rambling a bit, but I love the way this market is leveled off at its all-time highs. I'm talking about Bitcoin, and it's sitting in that range. Perfect, guys. The longer it sits in the sixty to seventy thousand dollar range per Bitcoin, the better for you and I. That builds strength. It builds a base. It builds momentum. It's a jumping-off point. This will probably be a bottom. Potentially, I don't even think, I think I'll even be higher than this, will be the new bottom, okay? My opinion, I'm just a guess. Now, I want to talk about more about XRP. Um, one of the stories that I've told a couple times that is so good, I bear, bears repeat. Those of you who think $15 is crazy for XRP, I want to tell a little story that happened to me back in the day, okay? 21, I believe this was, whatever it was. There's a little company, and a lot of you know, a little crypto called Theta. And I love Theta. I love the project. I love the people behind it. I own some Theta, full disclosure. And I owned it. I started buying it when it was about 11 cents. I started buying it. And I bought it up into 20 cent range. Theta, because of what happened to Theta, is it passed that dollar mark. Once it got past that breakout point, it exploded. It beat virtually every other crypto. And I think it went up 150 times, I want to say. Something crazy like that. It went up 150 times. Why? Not that many people knew about Theta. The bots got a hold of it. The traders got a hold of it. People saw it. People saw profit. People were calling me and asking me, Oh, Alan, you know about Theta. Should I buy it at $8? I was telling them, yeah, you should buy it at $8, but if it goes to $5, don't call me back and tell me, you know. But that's what's going to happen to XRP. I know it's hard for most people to see, but when that thing passes $0.75, cents, a dollar, it's going to take off, and people are going to jump on it, and they're going to look at the top 10 coins, and they're going to say, that's the blue chips. Those are the good coins. I'm talking about institutions. I'm talking about wealthy people wanting to broaden their horizon beyond Bitcoin, and they're going to see coins like XRP. In particular, the general public is going to look at that and go, wow, it's $0.75. Cents. Oh, wow, look, it's $1.50. Okay, I'm buying that because it's on the move. Just like a meme coin, you got, you know, everybody wants to get in and they start FOMOing, but the corporate money starts to look at it and go, well, what's its fundamentals? 
let's just see what that is. Let's, let's get 25 bean counters to open up the books and find out what the fundamentals are behind this XRP coin. And then the report comes back and it comes like a book, not a pamphlet. It comes back on their corporate desk, bam. And it's a book of here's why you buy that coin. Here's why you buy that coin. Here's who they're in bed with. Here's the contracts they have. Here's the nations behind that coin. Here's the system behind that coin. This is where the system's going. This is where that trans transactions, this is where liquidity is going to come from in all the crypto market. And they are part of this company, that stable coin, these decks, these AMMs, all of this is going to be in the corporate books. So it's not, it doesn't matter if your buddy who owns Solana is bagging on you because you own XRP. That's not going to matter anymore. Because the fundamentals in these institutions, the people that are doing the real research behind who are the future, that I'm talking about the next five to 10 years of crypto, are going to be looking for sound, fundamental prosperity. And there's no better place to find it than XRP. This is my opinion on a fundamental basis looking forward. And stop and think about all your friends who are sitting around going, oh wow, look at the oh, look at the top moving coins right now. One of them is XRP. Oh, I've heard of that. I've heard of that. Where do I know that from? Look, it's only a dollar fifty. Wow. And Solana's 150? I'm buying XRP. This is what happens. It's going to $15. I don't want to hear people, people tell me, oh, it'll stop at 80. It'll stop at $1.30. No, no, it's not going to do that because of exactly the reason that I told you with the theta. People started piling on because they, wow, look at this is the new thing. I like it. I like it, it has fundamentals. It has a vision for man's future. It has a use case. It's sound code. It's never been cracked. It doesn't have all the cracks in it that Solana has. And people are going to jump aboard. And there's going to be people who don't like XRP right now, probably watching this video, are going to tell you that's never going to happen. Oh, yeah? Sit, watch, wait. Watch what happens. It's not even a maybe to me anymore. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. And when I think about opportunities that I've missed in my lifetime and opportunities that I've, I've gotten correctly. There's been so many guys. Again, in my 44 years of investing, I started when I was 20 years old, started buying silver futures contracts. I invested in a, an invention a friend of ours uh, had. It was a double action pump that later became worked with MIT and it became a public corporation. And I was involved in that when I was 20 years old and I've never, and that was a great opportunity at the time. It didn't end well, but this opportunity, you're out in front of what the world is going to deal with, again, on their cell phones, from the, all the way down from the man on the street with a cell phone, all the way to the top with the board meetings, with people slapping Bibles down excuse the reference, of books of the fundamental reasons why this is the future of investment. And you own that. And that's a beautiful thing. All right, guys. I hope you guys get outdoors and get inside or outside and uh, enjoy your dogs and your animals or your life or walk in the park, whatever you can. Uh, spring is here. It's a beautiful thing. And uh, if you like this kind of content, uh, please like and subscribe and uh, follow us any way you can um, we do also have a patreon channel but you don't have to go there you can hang here if you'd like but we are family it's my wife and I and my son and we share our lives on uh, YouTube with you all because a we're excited to do this whole trip with you guys and it's gonna be a lot of fun to do so stick around thank you if you're a new subscriber I hope you enjoy the content and please share and like and I love you all. Okay, so it's come to my attention that uh, a few of the newcomers are like, yeah, what's the creepy guy behind the camera thing all about? That's sort of weird. 
Well, it's kind of goes like this. Uh, when I first started the channel, I, I would talk to myself and edit it out at the end of the video, talk to myself what I liked about the video, what I didn't like about the video, and what I should have done, and I was forgetting myself. And I was, uh, you know, Homer Simpson, the whole dope the whole thing and I was like well why am I delighted that's kind of funny why don't I just leave it in there and then people can you know listen to what an idiot I really am instead of just listening to the guy in front of the camera who comes across like he knows everything and he's got it all figured out and you should only listen to me no because why would I do that where's the fun in that we're just here to have fun people enjoy your weekend love you